sentence life. Me eight years now me stay in that law prison. The beginning in blow me. Barawa lave mukita to masya. The me prayer mukita so that by me reunite with the mukita. For me. A name lo mi Joseph Sitwolomo mi prom Vurvur village a North Swesol in the Swesol province a crime we mi committim a mi menda ya mi kilimis lo mi. Even in such remote places as here in the Solomon Islands, an apparent island paradise in the southern Pacific where life to an outsider looks simple. Women's safety, and too often their lives, are at risk. Lopas life blow me. Me one pala jealous man, and also me one pala aggressive man. And me save him beat him wipe blow me and also me master me man miss blow me i'm a good pala woman but also ting ting blow me rat go go me kill him miss blow me he me kill him low night yeah me low night joseph's brutality led to a sentence of life imprisonment he was sent here to the high security prison of Rove in Honiara, the island's capital. A quarter of the inmates are inside for violent crimes against women and girls, although, as in most parts of the world, the majority of such crimes go unreported. According to the United Nations, as many as 80% of Pacific Island women suffer violence at the hands of their partners during their lifetime, among the highest rates in the world. Joseph's brother Sixtus is the only family member who's regularly visited him in prison. My dad was kind of, kind of hard-working working man, but he's quite a very aggressive, aggressive man too. When he get angry, he usually smart my mom too. We sit and watch yeah? So I think uh, Joseph uh, like take some some character. Yeah? Violent behavior in the home, according to UNICEF, is experienced by hundreds of millions of children and is commonly passed down through generations. But Sixtus never imagined things would go so far. They really love, love each other. I don't expect something like that to happen. I was very, like, kind of uh, shocked, yeah? Joseph was a father of three young girls, the smallest only three months old when he killed his wife. For the past eight years, he's languished behind bars and razor wire in prison. But during that time, two things happened which changed him. In his grief, he discovered religious faith. Me pray along God, me cry along God. Me sabe God, emi wan palang God, emi sabe garam pung give, and em garam mesi, and em sabe same same lo ayam lo em. Then, in 2013, something else happened. Joseph was sent on a series of innovative training courses for inmates run by the Correctional Services of the Solomon Islands and supported by UN Women. The aim is to reach perpetrators of vicious acts and to teach them that violence against women and children of any type, no matter how rooted in society or culture, is totally unacceptable. We do this program as part of rehabilitation and uh of uh, offenders who fall in this category. Magtus Farai is Deputy Commissioner of the Correctional Services of the Solomon Islands. They really think about what they have done. Yeah. 
how much bad they have done to their, to the girls, to the women they rape. And then you see how they feel sorry. Yeah, they feel sad of what they have done bad. It, it makes them realize that what they have done is wrong and turn away from those things. There's very little work uh, addressing or looking at perpetrators. This is the first of its kind in the Solomon Islands. Alvina Erikali is country program coordinator for UN Women in the Solomon Islands. In order for us to address this issue in the country, this is a group of people that we need to work with. They need to be aware of these issues and they need to be rehabilitated. Okay, law report them saying gender inequality is a cause of violence against women. The rehabilitation trainer, Valerie, herself a correctional officer with 11 years experience in the prison service, starts by asking the men to define rape. Uh, how me fall define him uh, rape here? Yeah? First one blow me fall now, sex by force here. Yeah? One now lo here, sex by bottles. Rape is the common crime here in Solomon Island, uh, involving child sexual abuse and adult. Attitudes of male supremacy are deeply entrenched here. So changing them is not that simple. Valerie asks the participants what they understand by gender. For most, it's a new concept. First time lo life lo mean me seven now what not gender. Me first time meeting say gender is boy and girl. Valerie explains that gender refers to the roles apportioned to men and women and the behavior a society expects of them. The inmates then discuss how it is that women are burdened with an unfair share of domestic chores. Uh, findings that have not caused him violence against women, gender inequality. Huh? Alvina Erikali, who attended one of the workshops, feels that an age-old cultural practice is reinforcing this inequality. Bride price. This is when a man's family pays the woman's family for her hand and, according to Alvina, is frequently used to justify abuse by the husband. I own this person. I will do whatever I do because I, I pay bride price. I think most people are using that as an excuse. And according to the 2008 Solomon Islands government report on family health and safety, 64% of women in the country experience violence from their partners. I think there is this climate of impunity in the Solomon Islands and men th think that they can get away with this behavior, this towards women and girls in their own homes, in their own families. But, says Julianne Wickham from the Ministry of Women, a new family protection bill was passed in August 2014, the first of its kind in the country, and this will, she believes, make a significant impact. It will be sending a message to perpetrators that this behavior will no longer be tolerated and you will get what's coming to you if you do that. And these men in prison know what that means. At the end of the three-day course at Rove, some of them were starting to question their attitudes on violence. You come now. Leo is serving four years for rape. Before we come, he said, or sometimes stay outside, meeting all same that. Woman, man him bigger than woman. Man no man got him right. Uh, time he go through this while I was here, and change him now. Uh, this was thinking where me got him, all thinking where me got him that. Me no more, so man no more got him right, yeah? No. And this was also what Joseph realized after completing the same training in Rove prison. This fella, training, and me, uh, and me mold him light and blow me. And me mold him light and blow me, and, uh, and me put him back now, right, ting ting blow me. Beating woman and killing woman, and me, but I was wrong too much, and I'm crime. In March 2014, Joseph was transferred here to the low security prison at Tetere. 
there's no razor wire. And inmates spend their days in the fields, learning farming techniques so that they can better support their families on release. Although optimism is high that perpetrators like Joseph won't return to violence, initial research around the world shows that success is far from guaranteed. He's the first inmate in the Solomon Islands to have completed the training and then to have been reclassified as a lower risk prisoner. But no one knows whether his new outlook will last if he's released. What Joseph wishes now is the chance to be a father again to his girls, one he hopes they will accept and be proud of. One day, me up by me, it's a really slow. This for the prison. Lord, I mean a presence to go city. King of kings. So, me, but I'm sorry to mass when I'm doing this for the crime. No, anyone must kill him or beating woman. Jesus.